Hey, what's up y'all, it's George and Cody, Waterloo Revival, and we want to take you behind the scenes of our brand new single, Wonder Woman. Let me get this straight, you came in here tonight, to try to get over somebody, get to feeling right under neon lights. So Cody and I have been writing songs for almost two years, uh, working on a new record, trying to find our sound, trying to find what we wanted to yeah. say creatively as artists to the rest of the world. And um, we'd gone in for a meeting with our manager, TK Kimbrell, and uh, kind of let him know what we were working on. And he had an idea to introduce us to a guy named Arturo Buenahora. Uh, my name is Arturo Buenahora Jr. Uh, I am a publisher here at Little Louder Music. I heard about Waterloo from TK Kimbrell. He is a friend of mine, and he'd been talking about uh, the Waterloo guys to me for probably 10 months and dropping me music here and there. And, uh, and one day he asked me if I'd be interested in working with them, and I was like, well, I need to meet the guys. Arturo Buenahora executive produces uh, some of the bigger artists in town like Dirk Bentley and Eric Church, so we kind of thought there was no chance he would want to work with us, but TK was adamant that we go get a meeting with him. I met with, with Cody and uh, George, and it was, they were good dudes. I really enjoyed meeting them, uh, and I said, you know what, let's just let me set up some co-writes around town and kind of see what comes back because I like to let the music lead the way. Um, so he set us up with one of their writers, uh, Ryan Tyndall, who we immediately hit it off with because right. Ryan is from Texas like us and uh, had a lot of the same influences and just really a good vision from where our sound was going. My name is Ryan Tyndall and every now and then I'm a songwriter. Uh, the first time I met Waterloo Revival, uh, I was set up on a blind date from my publisher, uh, Arturo Buenahora Jr. And anytime you get set up with a big writer like Ryan or uh, like Mark Green, who is also on the right, both of those guys have written multiple number ones, um, you want to go in there and make a great impression. I, I've known Mar for years and uh, he, in my opinion, is just one of the best. He's one of the best hangs, he's one of the best lyric guys, he's one of the best melody guys. Uh, he's been doing it a long time uh, and it's just hard to make that guy not fit in a situation, you know. He's just one of the best. I am Marv Green, songwriter, singer, uh, originally from Southern California, Santa Barbara County. And I've uh, been in Nashville now, let's see, I just hit my 25th anniversary in town. So Cody and I had been thinking, okay, what is something that we can go in there uh, with a title to show them that we're serious and that we're writers too, and uh, hopefully we can stumble upon a hit. And it's, it's always great when the, when the artist brings in an idea, much less brings in a great idea. Wonder Woman was one of those where we kind of just, we all were in love with the concept. Most of the time I would say I spent on Wonder Woman was figuring out the right angle of attack. And what we came up with was uh, not actually not the wonder the wonder woman not actually being a noun where it's like she's not a wonder woman it's it's a wonder woman wonder woman like i wonder what you're doing here alone and that's when the light switch kind of went off and yeah. that's when you guys kind of started molding it and seeing how we could put that play on words on it and that's mm -hmm. i mean that's the recipe to a good country song mm -hmm. right is the hook that you didn't see coming, that play on words that's clever, uh, but also makes total sense. It developed as we went. We're like, oh, that's how we're gonna hit this hook. We're gonna do it this way. As soon as Marv started kind of playing the chords and we got the melody to it, it, it just really locked in. We heard him, you know, just kind of out of the corner of our eye, he goes, so wonder, wonder. We all kind of looked over <laughs> like, that's yeah. it, dude. There's a hit. <laughs> we were off and running after that. The song wrote itself. Uh, we stayed up till like 3 o'clock in the morning demoing the thing because we were so excited about it. And, uh, and we feel like we stumbled on something pretty special. One of the things that I like to do over here is just to kind of let things happen naturally. And, and that, that's what happened. You know, we all kind of throw in our two cents. Um, everybody has ideas. There's a lot of ideas being thrown around. And we just like to capture them on on tape of the best source that we can and that's sort of what happened you know you look up three or four hours later and you got something when you hear it i mean I, you just recognize that it's a hit hit time it feels great it makes you smile it makes you move and um i think it's it's lyrically uh, clever so i was anxiously awaiting the song and uh, i got wonder woman sent to my inbox from ryan and with text that came before saying check this out man you know fire all the emojis I put it on and I loved it, man. I really loved it. It was fresh. Uh, it was a hook I hadn't heard before. 
I thought they pulled it off lyrically. I thought musically it was super fresh and tight. And uh, I just thought, if this is where we're going, we can do some business here. Uh, from an A&R perspective, I guess what what I look for in a hit song, you know, it's not any kind of one thing. Uh, sometimes, sometimes it's a hook that I've never heard before, an idea. Sometimes musically, uh, it's leading the way, uh, maybe more than lyrically. Obviously, the, the best songs really deliver lyrically and musically and melodically. Uh, at the end of the day, it's like, do I believe it? You know, it's got to be real. Uh, and that's what country music is to me. It's why country music songwriting is the hardest to pull off, in my opinion, because everybody needs to be able to relate to it. You know, we can't get uh, too esoteric and not make sense. You know, we kind of have to put things up and tidy them up in a bow a little bit. Uh, and that's difficult. It's a wonder, woman. Somebody set you free. It's like I walked right into a dream game. Well, <laughs> at one time we was writing the song. This is my first cut ever. <laughs>